Salonis is without a doubt the most popular tool for process mining. And I wanted to give you a peek into it. But first, as some context that might be helpful, most organizations have hundreds, if not thousands of processes. And the painful truth is that most are inefficient and not well documented or understood. And that's where process mining can help. It shines a light on your process, puts a flashlight on it, and helps you understand it and make it better. And again, Solonis is the market leading tool for process mining. It takes data generated from your process and automatically generates process maps, which you can then explore for insights. All right, let me show you with an example. Imagine we gather data from an order to cash process, and we have three fields in the data, a case ID that uniquely identifies an iteration of the process, an order number in this case, an activity, a step in that process like shipping the order, and a timestamp when the activity occurs. And we'll go into Salonis and upload this data. But just as a note, you can upload data files like this one, but Salonis also has direct connectors to other systems like Oracle, SAP, Salesforce, and ServiceNow. Now in Salonis to help it, you'll have to designate which fields are the case ID, the activity, and the timestamp. Other than that, it pretty much does all the work for you. So in this case, it auto-generated this report and an accompanying process map. It shows me things like how many cases or orders are in the data, so 100, when the orders occurred over time, we saw more orders in June, the number of distinct or unique steps and how frequently those occur across the orders, and we can also click into individual orders to examine them in more detail. But the real power in all of this is the auto-generated process maps, which you can drill into for insights. And at the start, it initially shows you the most common path through the process. And it does that to filter out the complexity, which allows you to focus on the way the process occurs most often. But I can start adding back activities and connections, so the arrows, if I want to see different variations of the process to better understand that complexity. And when we do that, we start seeing some interesting things. First, in some cases, after we receive an order, we conduct a fraud check to ensure the order is legitimate. And when I click on that activity, it looks like it occurs in 6% of orders. And then next, we see that a few orders are canceled either after validation or if items are backordered. And that might be worth further exploration. And we could filter for orders with that activity and examine those orders more closely. After that, we see a few cases where shipments are delayed, and we've got to notify customers when that happens. I guess the question is, why were they delayed? It also looks like for some orders, we have to apply discounts, send payment reminders, or even issue refunds. Now, this order to cash process isn't too complex, but in large companies, you could have millions of orders with thousands of different variations of the process. And Salonis helps you sift through that complexity and uncover really important insights. Finally, if you want to get started with Salonis, they do have a free plan, and I'll include that in the link below.